Okay, so the next talk is about SQL Alchemy by Yash Mehrotra. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna start with a show of hands. Uh, how many of you work with relational databases? Okay, that's awfully lot. Okay, and out of those, how many of you use Django? And am I right to assume that you use the Django RM? I think I'm, anybody who doesn't, who, anybody who has heard of SQL Alchemy, by the way? Okay, that's cool. So anyway, for those who don't know, uh, it's an ORM. I'm Yash Merotra. I'm a student, uh, open source evangelist. So today I'm just gonna tell you about a little bit about SQL Alchemy, uh, how does it work, why many people find it better than the Django's ORM and why many people consider the best ORM out there. So what is SQL Alchemy? It's basically a toolkit and an ORM. It provide, uh, this is basically from the website, so it doesn't really, you can read it, but what it basically means is if you use a relational database and you're writing raw SQL queries, it's time for a change. Uh, it is more secure. It, you don't have to manually escape characters to prevent injections and it's more Pythonic. And o ORM is an object relational map uh, mapper. It basically creates a, uh, you can basically create a DDL in your code, like a class and then the table name, and then you can write the columns in your class. I'll show you the code snippets later. How does it work? And so it extra, basically one thing which SQL Alchemy does better than Django is it access, accesses more layers of the Django, uh, of the SQL, uh, SQL compared to Django. I think Django RM just accesses the top layer and you can't do many customizable, many, you can't customize many things with it, but with SQL Alchemy, you get a bit more power. You feel like uh, you, you're controlling most things. So why SQL Alchemy? Uh, first of all, like uh, it's more Pythonic. Uh, I think many of you must have used a post safe signal and ha has anybody tried to override the safe method in Django RM? Yeah, so some people have. So it's a good way and many people, and in Staggerflow you'll find it the first answer, but I don't consider it very Pythonic. So. SQL Alchemy has event listeners. You can add event listeners for a table, pre-insert, after insert. It works like triggers. So yeah, that's more it. It's more, uh, also it's uh, syntax is consistent. Like in SQL Alchemy, if you are doing a query, uh, you just write session.query, then the table name, and then you write filter, uh, like uh, say you have to see which persons uh, get a list of people whose age is greater than 30. So you can write just filter user dot age greater than equal to 30, uh, something like that. And it's similar everywhere, but in Django for that, you have to write like underscore underscore GTE or underscore underscore GT. And if you're working with multiple foreign keys, it's like underscore underscore, then the table name underscore underscore. So it really is crumbles. It doesn't look nice. So, if you are interested in SQL Alchemy, it's very simple to start. Just pip install SQL Alchemy. And okay, so the first imports, you can leave that. Uh, this engine part is basically, you, it works with, by the way, it works with all the RDS, Oracle, SQL Lite, uh, Postgres, MySQL. Okay, now I'm just going to give you an example here, like a class user, uh, and it has a table name user. Uh, three columns, ID, name, email, and when I do base dot meta dot create all engine. So imagine I have multiple classes like this, and uh, this command basically creates all the tables in whatever in whatever database you specify here. So it's very clean, and it's much more easy to handle. Uh, and this is the SQL Alchemy API. Say I have created three users and I added them. Uh, actually, this was going to be a live demo of the code, but due to some problem with HDMI port, I couldn't give it. So querying is simply easy, session.query, table name, 
And if you want to do something specific, you can session.query filter and double equal to you can search by email. So for update, basically what I did is if I need to update my name to my full name. So I took that object, I changed its name, and then I added it to the session and then I committed it. So it's pretty simple. And if you are working with Django RM, you can shift it, shift to SQL Alchemy. There's a tool called Algemy, A-L-T-J-E-M-Y, uh, if you want it. And then similarly, you can delete, uh, delete with the session. And basically, you can do a lot of things. So I don't know how many of you will try it, but I do suggest like uh, just give SQL Alchemy a try for those who do complex SQL operations, uh, inner joins, lots of outer joins, or who may be facing some scaling problems due to relational databases uh, in their Django websites. I highly suggest them to try SQL Alchemy. And that's it. Thank you. Any questions for me? Okay, thank you.